30 on Sunday morning. We've been monitoring events overnight at the oceanfront with shootings and stabbings. Uh, a big crowd down there. Ten on your sides. Jason Marks is live at the oceanfront. Jason, things have calmed down a little bit now. What's uh, what are you seeing? Yeah, Art. Far contrast to what it was as you mentioned a couple hours ago, where they had the shootings and the stabbings and the armed robberies and the shots fired. Call really a lot going on for police. I'm going to step out of the way and show you. And you can see Atlantic Avenue clear right now. Uh, very different uh, just a couple of hours ago. Let's show you some video from what things look like if we can. Uh, this was just uh, around midnight, and you can just see there are people everywhere down here. Now, police tell us they got uh, 300 calls for service. That's just police calls alone, and that's just for the oceanfront. That happened between 6 p.m. and 4 a.m., so that's an awful lot of calls for service. Art, as you mentioned, three shootings. Uh, the one happened here at 27th and Atlantic. We had one at 20th and Atlantic and one at 34th Street. So three shootings police were investigating. We're told uh, the victims in those cases uh, all suffered non-life-threatening injuries. We have not heard any word of any arrest in those shootings. Now, in addition to the shootings, they also had two stabbings that police were working. Uh, one at 17th and Atlantic. That was in the Dairy Queen parking lot. You also had one at 25th and Atlantic, uh, and so police were working those. Those were not connected. None of these events were connected, according to police. And then you also had three armed robberies down here, and then there were shots fired calls, many shots fired calls uh, that police ended up working. And they, I'm told they made an arrest um, from one of those calls that police, I mean, if you look around, all you see last night was a lot of crime scene tape. So police had to deal with a lot of that throughout the overnight hours. As you know, they had an event going on uh, where many of the, the black fraternity and uh, sororities from around the country were here. Uh, so police say that they had extra crews here. Um, they were well prepared is what they're telling me, but they just got overwhelmed because there were so many people down here. Uh, for a while, they did have to uh, shut down that portion of 264 coming into the oceanfront because it was just too congested. They even had to shut down Atlantic Avenue as all of these events were being investigated. So a lot going on in just a short amount of time are down here at the oceanfront. But as you can see right now, things are calm. Uh, people are starting to come out of their hotel rooms, but uh, uh, a lot quieter than it was for police and for everyone down here just a couple hours ago. Jason, when you consider the size of the crowds that you were talking about down there in three shootings, it's uh, pretty incredible that no one was killed or hurt seriously. I, I, from the shot that I see behind you, I don't see a large police presence there now. Ha has there been much of a presence elsewhere, or, or what are you seeing now, Jason? Uh, we have, once those, the last two officers that were here at this particular scene, now this was the last shooting scene, uh, we haven't seen any other officers um, riding around since then. I was told that they were in full force down here, that they had extra officers, that they were trying to prepare for this as best as they could. They knew they were going to have a large crowds of people. Uh, they had extra officers working down here, officers from other patrol, other precincts in the area. Um, but they just got overwhelmed when things started to happen and there were just events happening, calls happening for service. Uh, and it, it just got out of hand very quickly and it spiraled. And this is what we ended up with, the shootings and the stabbings and the armed robberies, Art. All right, Jason, thank you for monitoring that situation down at the oceanfront. Jay